Welcome back, everyone. This episode only deals with two different storylines. You got Daryl and the Reapers looking for Maggie and Negan. And you got Connie and I think his name is Virgil. It's been a while since we've seen this guy, so how am I supposed to remember? In order to prove himself, Daryl has to torture one of his own guys. He cuts off one of his fingers just so that they can get a location as to where Maggie, Negan, and all that gang is meeting up. And eventually they do. And they go and search out their house. Uh, they go to that location that that guy says. And Daryl notices that they're there. They're just hiding underneath the floor in a crawl space. He stalls the Reapers long enough for them to get away. But clearly there's tension building there. And... I don't know. Leah keeps having to justify a lot of Daryl's actions kind of coming to his defense. Because these other Reapers just don't trust him. At least this one in particular. His name, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Meanwhile, while that search is going on, we're seeing Connie and Virgil try to find a place to hunker down to kind of catch the bearings, to get some rest. And inside this place, there's this group of people that are damn near animals and really far gone. I've got to say, I thought that this was a decent attempt to try to do something different. A variation of people going crazy, but too little too late. This would have been nice years ago. It, to do it now just feels cheap. And I don't need more people being introduced. This felt like something out of a cheesy uh, horror film. It kind of reminded me of that uh, movie that Lauren Cohen did called The Boy, where there was a guy living in the walls with a beard and it was gross. This episode had me rolling my eyes a lot and it just didn't really do it for me. So I'm hoping that the next one will be better. But damn, I'll admit the Connie stuff, the fact that she can't hear that stuff is unsettling. But anytime they caught to it, it makes me wonder how she's even made it this far. If you can't hear walkers coming up on you or a person coming up on you, how have you survived, honestly?